Hello everyone, today me and my beautiful girlfriend Christina are doing R4 slash confessions. What would be one of your confessions? <laughs> I'm not gonna say it online. Here, I'll, bl I'll blur it. You're a psychopath. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> I'm worried for my safety now. <laughs> no. I made up a fake account 22 years ago to spy on then girlfriend, and now she's named her daughter after the fake page. That what? is a long con. In 2002, I met a girl online who lived 1,000 miles away from me. I was very insecure and only 18, and I created a fake profile to spy on her and find out stuff. I named the fake person Mary, and her and Mary would talk every night for hours. This was before video calling and stuff. I got away with it for months. Me and my girlfriend of then time broke up in 2004. We gradually lost touch. The internet before social media was not well connected, so we went 13 years without ever talking. She adds me on this day in 2017 on Facebook, and by now the internet is more advanced with video calls. Oh my god, she has a girl named Mary. She has a husband. She video calls her him. Why would you video call your ex-boyfriend? I don't know. I would that seems weird. It is weird. That seems very, very I don't very know. Weird. I don't understand what's happening right now. I had actually planned to confess all until that moment. I just couldn't. To this day, we are still Facebook friended and she occasionally messages me to chat. Her daughter is now 18. Oh my god. Mary made a Facebook post and mentioned she's named after a person her mom thinks was a heaven sent blessing. I mean, if you didn't like fuck with her and ruin her life, it's not yeah. that bad. You're almost like, yeah. you almost helped her. Yes. Like it's important. I feel like there's no need to confess that. That doesn't seem that, it seems, it's insane. And I'm not condoning that, yeah, obviously. Yeah, no, it's bad. It's bad. But it's like not that bad. But nothing bad happened from yeah. it. Yeah, it's not. So. If anything, it's God sent. Yeah, it was a weird, weird fucked up thing you shouldn't have done, but it didn't really do anything bad. Yeah, But yeah. I feel, I, it's an interesting thing to confess for sure. I was truly hard. sick. I guess it's, can, like, if you're a, if you're just, if you make a, become a platonic friend with someone, you're catfishing that, because catfishing's bad, obviously. Yes. But if it's just, like, platonic and you're not getting money and stuff from them, then you're just trying to find out information. Yeah. But if you're that good of a friend, that's but, crazy. But it was his girlfriend, no? Yeah, but he created an account after they broke up. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, nope. Uh, or wait, they oh, since they didn't live nearby, he was insecure and he wanted to spy on her yeah, locally. Which, so that, that's what it is. Yeah, yeah. that's what's weird. That's yeah, weird that's and you shouldn't do that. But obviously he was really good at it. <laughs> yeah, clearly. Because she, he was a godsend. <laughs> yeah, so. I guess. My career in the industry. I, male 34, am active in the P industry. Right now, I am only a cameraman. I was working in the normal film industry when a friend got me into the P word industry. I started off as a cameraman and worked my way up to bigger productions and studios. In between, I even shot scenes as a male P actor. In 2021, I shot 22 scenes as a male actor. It were GBs and hardcore videos. It was fun, but after all, I decided to remain a cameraman. Today, I am a cameraman for a pretty big P studio, and I work with a lot of really famous big names in the industry. I know a lot of them personally and I'm pretty good friends with some of them as well. Um, Interesting. I feel like that's kind of boring. I, I would tell me how many times have you been accidentally busted on or something like that? You know, that's funny, right? Like bloopers. <laughs> He's basically just telling you part of his life story. This doesn't need to be something that you need to confess. I feel like I feel like, yeah, just do something else if you're that upset by it. I don't think he's upset it. by it though. Why is he confessing it then? I don't know. Why is he trying just to hide so it? people know? Yeah, he's just like, check this out. Yeah, maybe he doesn't like his family doesn't know about it or something. Yeah, it just seems like a weird thing to confess. Yeah. Boring. I find older women hot. Cause <laughs> same. All right. She's a little older than me. A couple of years. <laughs> no. I'm 24 yes. male and I find older women just as hot as younger women. I don't think it's a fetish either. It's not hot because it's taboo. It's just been a thing of mine. I never really knew that there was anything wrong with it until recently. Mm -hmm. The whole Aaron Taylor Johnson's wife being so much older thing blew up recently and all the comments said, ew. I found women in their mid seventies hot and supposedly that is weird. Can't really say this to anyone without picking up. I think the Aaron Taylor Johnson thing is weird because she's like a director or something and he was oh, like a little wow. actor boy. Yeah, that's a whole other grooming thing, possible grooming thing. He's 24 yeah. and he finds people in their seventies. That's wild. Hot and attractive. That's, mm -hmm. I mean, it's all legal. Yeah, I so. feel like it's not that, I feel like it's really not that big of a deal. That's all right. It's it's weirder now though. Why? Well, it just seems like it was more normal th back in the day. Yeah. Cause my dad and mom, they're eight years apart. I feel like it's still not as common for the woman to be older. Really? Yeah. I, I you don't hear that as often. But like, I just don't understand what the benefit of a young, like younger, like a younger woman would be. I don't really, my. 
no, you're not, you know, you're not. But it's like, like is it just because they're less it's, Yes, like, it's less. <laughs> yes, exactly. It's okay. that and they're younger and they're. But they're what about, what is aging. younger good though? What's that mean? Looks, that's just looks. Most guys but are just purely. Women don't go from like age 22 to 30 and get ugly. I, no. I know. I think it's a lot of immature men just going after immature women that haven't had the knowledge yet that they are immature. You know, it's like they're, it's like they're on the same level. But you think it's like purposeful and manipulative? Yes. Really? A lot of the time, yeah. I don't know about that. And then, but then no. And then I I know some people that have a giant age gap and it's and it's fine. I feel like you're like a older soul kind of thing. Like you're very mm -hmm. mature. <laughs> But I'm attracted to somebody that's very mature. Mm -hmm. And that, that might be somebody in their 30s or 40s or something, I guess. But 30 or 40 year olds are mature though. I've met a lot of f***ing idiots that are 40. Absolutely. Children, literally children. A absolutely. I'm still a virgin at 29. I feel bad for people who are who are virgins, who feel, I feel bad for people who are virgins who feel bad about it. <laughs> okay, yeah, that yeah, makes more sense. Yeah, Cause some people it's like their biggest thing. Like they're scared of it. It's yeah. Like fear, it's like a fear thing. Yeah, that's normal. Incels. Yeah, but it's normal. That's a scary thing. Being an incel is not normal. No, I mean, <laughs> no, not an incel, just a virgin. It's quite embarrassing to be honest. I feel like a child whenever S is brought up with my friend groups or acquaintances. That has to feel alienating. Yeah. I often wonder what I did wrong to not experience life normally and it sucks. I don't have any problems talking to people. I rarely ever smell bad in public, nor do I have problems making friends. Maybe I'm just one ugly mother but I've seen worse, but they got it done. Sigh, I feel like a total weirdo. We need more information, bro. Yeah, I feel like this is not that weird, right? No, I think it's extremely common. I think it's way more common than you think. Yeah, but I don't think it's extremely common. I, I don't, it's maybe common online on, in Reddit, on Reddit. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's what like, I mean. Because like there's statistics, we know the statistics of like the age of average virginity has gone up over time. Like it has gone. Oh, up. it has? Yeah, absolutely. Oh yeah, that yeah. makes sense. But but it's it correlates with the internet and like people going to school less and stuff. I think that's like kind of like the logic, I guess. Yeah. Um, and it's not like you're winning by f random women. That's what I mean. That's why I say it's yeah. like feeling guilty because you're not a part of hookup culture is dumb. If it is really truly just like you haven't made things happen, the stars haven't aligned yeah. for you, then who the f cares yeah but if you have something if you're like leaving out an important part like oh i actually i build castles of shit in my house yeah like i build cat shit castles and i just don't know why people don't want to me you know yeah, there, we need then there's something wrong with you maybe for but. sure my husband wants more money this is my second marriage and his third oh we have been see i think that's scarier than being yeah. virgin yeah way scarier having three marriages that's terrifying like how dumb are you no offense to anybody who's had three marriages, but this is my yeah. second marriage and his third. We have been married seven years. We are in our late fifties. Okay, I kind of it's a little. Old. Yeah. Okay. Okay. He has a good job where he makes 180k a year. He plans to retire in four years. We have savings and a pension. Financially, we were set when we got married. I had a house in another state. I sold it in 2020 and made 80k profit. I lived in the house for several years uh, as a single mom raising my kids. I put that money into savings and made my kids beneficiaries. I also have 120k life insurance policy by. Husband is a beneficiary on it. No. He wants the savings account with 80K too. He says it's because we are spouses and should have each other on everything. He does not agree with that I leave something for my adult kids. He does not agree that I leave something for my adult kids. Oh. My question is, is it reasonable for me to want to leave my children something when I'm gone? Yeah. The f or is it just because they're not his children? Yeah, I that guess. he's just like jealous. My husband makes me feel like I'm out of line. I just think we think differently. Uh, I feel like that's insane to be want to be to be fair. Sounds like you might want to uh, uh, yeah keep that on your will divorce. and uh, yeah because because I think he might want to get like your money, money from you in a bad way. Yeah, you, you might get me. You might be getting killed. Watch some dude. Dateline episodes. Yeah, bro. Yeah, maybe don't do this that. Is, this is the start of every Dateline yeah. episode. Let's not base reality off of Dateline. <laughs> And so that's my whole life. Dude. I know. Sometimes you'll say something, and I'm like, she's been watching Dateline, oh, bro. Oh, yeah. She grew up the watching whole Dateline. Way down here, 30 hour car ride yeah. down here, me and my mom only listen to Dateline episodes. That's the brain entire rot. way. Literal brain rot. No, it's not. It's true. It's true stories. Yeah, but also there's like a lot of other true stories that are not nearly as bad. Yeah, well, I'm so. pretty vigilant now because of it. So. I'm pretty vigilant now. <laughs> I don't live my life in fear. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, this seems fucking crazy. Yeah. Like if, if I had, let's say I had money and I wanted to leave it to Michael and Clint. Right? Uh-huh. They're not even my kids. Right. But I, that's something I feasibly might want to do. Sure. Leave some, them some shit or something. If I were to die, uh, like I, they're in my will. They're in your will? Yeah. 
Absolutely. Clint gets all my guns. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Yeah. If you were to be like, well, I want your guns. I'd be like, no. It's not like my life started new when you came into it. No. Even though we're partners and like we're supposed to live our lives together. Like, it's not like you just magically supersede every single thing that's ever happened to me. No. Especially no, exactly. not when you're in your 50s and you're getting married. Yeah, if I had like kids before our relationship yeah, and the then fuck? I died and I was like, oh, that money's going to go to my kids and mm -hmm. not to you. I'm an adult. My, I, I need my kids to be taken care of. Oh my God. I would never even consider that. No, that yeah, but that, that's if we crazy. had kids together, we'd yeah. want... You, well, I mean, they need... I, I, I'd try to get them eliminated. <laughs> your little, your never little bastard mind. children. <laughs> Don't you call them that? You're Jon Snow's. They're just as much yours as they are mine. No, they're not. Yes, That's they crazy. are. No, they're We're not. talking about Kevin right now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No. My dog. He's a bastard. <laughs> Update. I left my girlfriend of nine years. If you want to know what this is about, then please read my other post. Yeah, I left my girlfriend of nine years who I have a son with after I found out she cheated. Her sister had told me and even one of her... I cannot imagine cheating on someone you've been with for nine years. No. That's fucking crazy. No. Some people in comments of my last post wondered how long her sister and friend knew about it and ha after having a long talk with both of them I found out that they knew from the very start that she was cheating. It hurt to know that they kept it from me for almost four years Ugh. but I'm at least glad uh, that they told me eventually. Anyway, I left my now ex and stayed with some friends for a few days. My friends have been my rock in this whole mess and I can't thank them enough for everything they have done for me in the past months. As for my son, I got full custody of him. My ex is almost non-existent in his life even though I have told her from the start that I won't keep him from her and that she could see him whenever she wanted. But unfortunately, her new boyfriend was more important than her son. All in all, my son and I are doing well. I hope the ex uh, cones to her senses and ohms to see him so he can have his mother in his life. That's Damn. really sad. Being a good dad. Yeah. It's like being, a, being a single dad is like something you don't really hear a lot about. Yeah. It's rough. Yeah, that's because you're doing good, bud. You're yeah. good. Yeah, it's gotta be Nine tough. years. And yeah, four of them me. that they were keeping a secret from him. Mm -hmm. That's fucked up. I don't even know what I'd do mentally. If you were, I feel like it's so hard to trust people after that. Just being lied to. If that happened to, to yeah. To oh yeah, I mean, like you just wouldn't being, being lied to by everyone around yeah. you. Yeah, I just like I don't know. I already just don't believe people pretty much whenever they say stuff. Just in general, like I have to actively try to trust people. Mm -hmm. And I've never even really been like lied to. Maybe there were some like early, really early lies, like some really annoying stuff mm -hmm. that I had to deal with. But like this, this is just another level. Of, like I just I don't know. I don't think I'd ever trust anyone ever again. I would be a literal hermit. Yeah. If, that, if this happened. Yeah, no, that's what I mean too. I, I would absolutely be. Well, that was funny. 